The sun is out. That's hopeful. Bonjour, Josiah. Bonjour. C'est vous qui avez fait ça? Euh, oui. Oui. C'est confiture maison. Qu'est-ce qu -ce que c'est? C'est bon pour connaître pour mon français. Alors la figue. Mm -hmm. La figue, c'est les fruits de la maison. Ah oui. Avec euh, du caramel au rhum. Caramel. Au rhum. Et un très grand café. Un très grand café et le lait chaud. Du, du lait. Chaud. Et le jus de pomme. Jus de pomme. Et est-ce que vous voulez un yaourt nature sucré? Ouais, oui, c'est bien. Je vous amène d'ailleurs une Merci. Et, ben et voilà. beaucoup de pain. Et le pain, le pain, la viennoiserie. Alors c'est le cravatin. Merci, c'est très bon. Voilà. Imagine. Good morning, everyone. So this is breakfast here, about 50 kilometers north of Bordeaux, where I just had to stay at this place when I stopped to check where I was going to stay for the night last uh, evening. And uh, turns out I was barely two kilometers from this place. So I'm glad I uh, I stopped by. So what's uh, what's the plan here? As I uh, as I prep my little brekkie, which is pretty sweet. So this is a big coffee. These, those are jams over there. She was saying we got bread. This is New Zealanders and Australians, by the way. You've ruined me. Look at me, not drinking my coffee black, but I have to go to put a bit of milk in there now. Yeah, down to Bordeaux. Uh, my jacket is broken, as you know. Find a hopefully a big motorcycle place. That's the best chance. Although I don't want to ride into a big city, to be honest. But. Uh, we need a jacket because we're going up into the Pyrenees and it's going to get cold. It's winter, right? We're going up some of the biggest mountains in Europe. And uh, hopefully we can get into Spain today. But I'm not sure if I go in direction to Bilbao yet or uh, I want to go to the highest point, which seems to be uh, around Andorra. So I want to go there. It's like going to a separate country, but that's a longer route. So maybe I'll try something and go diagonal through the Pyrenees. We'll see. First, uh, Bon appétit. My laptop on the Word document that I made here with people who offered a place, I see a Andre Costa, because I have to start writing them down because the comments get lost in the clutter and the messages, you know, because people keep sending me messages. But he's from San Sebastian and that is close to the border. That would be the shortest route into the Pyrenees and into Spain. And there I could rendezvous with him. It's just over the border there. You can see, uh, Pass Bayon. See if I can find him and then contact him and see if he replies on time. And that could be the plan for today. So here's a fun fact that I overlooked when I was talking to the his homestead owners, if that's what it's called in English. Merci Marc. Yeah, pas quoi. And um, and that's that. It's Sunday. C'est dimanche. Everything is closed. Fair May. And to boot Monday. It's a holiday, so um, we're going in the Pyrenees. I'm gonna put a rain jacket on the inside. I don't know, figure something out. But we're riding with open jackets, and look at these buddies here. What's up, fellas? I'm your fire friend. Don't flare up. See, everything's good. Je vais voir si ça marche bien ou non. Ah oui, pour mettre ça dans le truc. Pardon. Non, tranquille, je sais, je, je sais, je tengo, je tengo, espagnol. <rire> J'ai une autre jaquette. Jaquette, blouson. Blouson. Oui. Il aime la moto. Non, hein. non, non, tranquillement, tranquillement. <rire> Vous avez voyagé avec moi, moustache. Oui, oui, ma oui, il faut très bien. Mon non, ami. Mais quand il va démarrer, c'est bon. Hein? J'ai peur, j'ai peur qu'un jour il parte avec quelqu'un. Ah oui, une euh... voiture surtout. Ah, euh... Vous voulez ir à l'Espagne Oui. Moustache. Oui, il aime l'Italien. C'est le bon chat. Oui, c'est un bon chat celui-là. Mmh. C'est un serial killer. C'est un serial killer. Si, <rire> si, le grand. C'est vraiment un killer. <rire> oui, c'est C'est bon, hein Oui, oui, on fait ça. C'est très bon. Il aime. Hein? Oui, c'est la journée. Ah, mais oui, oh. c'est là. Il faut juste zip this up. Il it will open up, but I got. Ah, oui, en plus, il faudrait. This rain jacket. Thank you, Bob. Well, ah, this is good. This is great. At least I'll be waterproof. And then finally, poor Mark, he has been standing there for 15 minutes. <laughs> the preparation on a motorbike in the winter takes forever. C'est de mieux à la droite. 
tensión con la pan europeana. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> Vamos. Se hace. Vamos. Ya. On y va. Allez à la droite. Merci bien Marc. Bonne route. On y va. Ciao. Let's go straight to Spain because everything's closed anyway. Direction Bordeaux. On y va. Definitely not gonna need a coffee because I drank, drank two of those massive cups of coffee today at the homestay. Zigzag parkings. This is the land of confusion. I think we're gonna have Piage, you like it or not. Piage! So do I pay now or is this the ticket section? Le Piage! Oh shit, I don't have. This better be card. I don't have cash. I gave it all to the homestead lady. Oh, you've already detected I'm class 5. Oh man, there's a car gonna come behind me. He's not gonna be happy. Will this just... Whoa, what the... F <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I felt like maybe, you know, maybe that's not the right one. Maybe a ticket goes in there and boom, gone to my credit card. <laughs> that's hilarious. One euro 90s. We'll survive that one. Google was trying to send me around it, but then it would not have passed through the petrol station and uh, I just gotten into reserve and uh, we weren't going to repeat yesterday's little faux pas, right? Right. Look at all the trucks, full of trucks. Friends of the road. Nice. Looking for a peaceful place to pee. And eat a snack. Life on the road. The lifeblood of any country. The truckers. Pretty much essential workers. Satellite, nice. Yeah, forgive me folks that I had to start with. Oh, oh no. With all this highway today. Ooh, that looks like fun. Let's go over there. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Shh. It's our little secret, okay? Oh, I love you, motorcycle. Atlas, you've been riding quite well, haven't you? Cheeky little pee time. Also, it's kind of to decide if I'll uh, go straight to uh, San Sebastian. Still waiting for a reply from someone who lives there. And I heard that Spain might be getting also problematic. That sucks, I wanted to calm down in Spain and show you around more. But they're getting serious about this thing there too. So, you know, once one goes, the next one goes too. And then they tell you it's only for a month. And then they keep you locked up through all of winter. And in Argentina's case, to no avail. The government in June still tried to micromanage ooh, 100, 150 deaths a day. You know what? We just made restrictions a bit more lax. Now we're just going to constrain them again for another two, three weeks, okay? We're going to go back to exactly how it was. Okay, 
nothing happened. Just kept rising until it plateaued at 3, 350, 400 a day. Winter time on that hemisphere. The irony was that initially they were making fun of Brazil. But already a month ago, uh, Argentina surpassed the Netherlands in deaths per million. And uh, the Netherlands had a very limited approach uh, to this whole thing. And meanwhile, Argentina is approaching Brazil's rate in deaths per million. After a lockdown that's still going on, we're talking seven, eight months now, and face masks since week two. So, go figure, I think. The governments here have the false idea that they can micromanage this whole thing because we're going into winter just like the southern hemisphere did, did and there i was when that happened it's going to be interesting to see anywho man i dress for the pyrenees i got my thermal my thermal shirt on long sleeve but it's too hot i'm not complaining by the way this is great bring it on so good. I've been chatting with the person who offered me the place to stay, but he is fully booked with family at the moment in the San Sebastian region, north of Spain. But just generally, he's been informing me about what's happening in Spain, and they are going absolutely mental there too because of the Rona. Catalonia can be problematic, so yeah, I was plotting a nice little route still for the day through the Pyrenees, but just gonna blast through, hope for the best, see what we we'll get. So Spain is ruined too at the moment, it's not looking good. I might just end up straight going to Portugal. I'm now already skipping that desert past the Pyrenees in the north I wanted to go to. Still a goddamn V, eh? All right, let's go. trying to fuel up in France. Ain't this some real riding, eh? Well, it wasn't going to be the usual trip anyway, but wasn't planning on this much. Non-stop, keep going. That's what it is. All right. That's... <laughs> That's the smallest highway exit I've seen in a while. Cool. Let's find a uh, gas station. Spain's on the other side there. Oh, frowny face, frowny face, frowny face. Just saw a French car being pulled over. Armed people around it. Armed uh, gendarmerie. Let's see how all of this is gonna go for the rest of the day, folks. here so I want to say right the main theme is the road of my youth sitting in the back seat watching the world go by on my way to Portugal and especially around Bordeaux is where the pine forests begin and it's almost all the way until the Pyrenees start and that was always such a distinct place such a distinct smell I remember as a kid when Bayonne would show up on the signs you know oh yeah now we're almost in Spain. And after that came Bilbao, but we never ended up in Bilbao. Then I think we went in direction of Burgos. I could dream that route, man, but I'm hearing all this talk of roads, you know, being patrolled or whatnot in Spain. It's, it's all hectic. What's being described in Spain is giving me a bit of Argentina flashback. Not in Europe, that doesn't belong here. Had a bit of a chat with someone else who left a location on that map I posted on Facebook. Like a little map thing. His name is Gorka and he lives near San Sebastian. Someone else near San Sebastian. Yeah, he has a, apparently a family uh, place that's been closed due to the situation. He said, you could come and stay here. But things look complicated at the moment of all the row now like i said areas being closed off blocked off i don't know it's getting that way again uh, in western europe i briefly checked something and i saw that there, there have been already riots going on in spain 
It's only going to get more and worse, man. People already been through it here once also. But they haven't done the six months that I did in bloody Argentina, mate. But that's what's ahead. Let's see how this goes. Andale. Oh, I thought this was a roundabout for a second, but there's Spain. You can't even see the sign. Viva España! Gipuzkoa! Welcome to Basque country. Irun. Well, these are all the twisties we'll be getting for today. But it's a lot better than nothing. You know, I don't know exactly what's going on. I still see people outside on terraces eating. That's a bit strange from a place uh, supposed to, to be quite locked down. Well, again, I see terraces outside. If people still are allowed to eat, then this is not a very serious uh, lockdown. Oh, go left. I must say. Interesting little country roads, even in the little city town. Little roads. Oh, this is nice, eh? Basque country. I think some of the signs are even in Basque, like Kuntus, in, uh, in, instead of Kunduzir. I'll ask Gorka. I think we're gonna make it, fam. You right, Al? I mean, Atlas. I'll get it right. been a while since I had some of this. Que bueno! No mas frances! No more French! This must be it. Haha! Que tal el Gorka? How are you doing? Very good. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Yeah, you can park here. Cool. Ah, just one second. Let me tell you, take out the earplugs. Oh. But do you guys live here too? Yeah, we live here. Uh, it's my father and my mother. Yeah. Me. So yeah, we live here. And you guys had a bit of trouble now with the whole, yeah, since March? Since March we only worked on, Agu on August and then it was locked down everything and, and empty now, waiting for the next summer. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Guess. But uh, the cafes, I still see people in the cafes. Yeah. What's the system? Yeah, because they are in the same town, as long as you don't leave the town, you are in. So, oh, so you are allowed to stay in the town. Yeah. Okay. But you can't go to the two, I don't know, three kilometers away. You are really lucky. It's always raining here. I am lucky because I came from the rain. So, no, I'm really happy. But I, I'll bet it comes back. Yeah. So, we're in Basque country, right? Yeah, we are. And are there some of the signs in Basque too? Because yeah. it says Kuntis in vez yeah. de Kundisir, Kuntis, Kuntis. I was like... You have in both, in Spanish and in Basque. Man, that language is messed up, you know? It's, it's, it's almost difficult for foreign people, yeah. It's insane. It's not even really Spanish, you it's know? It's not yeah. even la coming from Latin exactly. or uh, English, nothing. That is cool. Outside, yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, let me open that here. Wait. And push. Here we are. Oh, nice and cool in here. It's warm again outside, man. It's so nice. The little cabin. Yeah. Cabin modern. Cabin modern style in the Basque country. Yeah. Very nice. Nice terrasser and another one here. This is good for summer. Really nice. Churrasco and whatnot. Yeah. We're gonna make some bar barbecue here. Hope you like it. <laughs> it's very nice, man. Thanks for the invite here, man. So here we are at a place called, and this is called Costegi. Costegi, probably again, a Basque name. Maybe it's the family name. And it's just about what? 
five or ten kilometers south of San Sebastian. It sits right there, by the way. I don't think you can see it on the GoPro, but see it's over there. So today it's a very nice day, and I checked the weather, and it's brutal for the whole week, seven, eight days, uh, just rain. So starting tomorrow. <laughs> So enjoy this for the day. It's uh, quite a peaceful spot up here. So these are all the apple trees of Gorka's dad because he used to own a cider business apparently. Make cider and then he built his place here, which is a big place. Reminds me of Portugal too, where families, they build a big house, you know, three stories. This one is four stories, pretty cool. Pony and a donkey. So it was nice of Gorka to invite me here. And he did that by placing a spot on the map. Uh, only a few of you saw that probably, but a few days ago I posted a link, no, yesterday, <laughs> to a Google Maps thing. And it's all experimental what I'm doing. Everybody can. I think if you're logged into uh, some sort of Google account, you can place a marker or a location and there you can put in a title like your name and then some information. Hey, um, you can stay here and uh, I don't know, contact me on my email or your phone number or put a link to your Instagram or Facebook. He put a link to his Instagram. Uh, all this information is public, so remember that. These things though go, when I do this, they go pre pretty short notice, you know, not more than 48 hours uh, a lot of times. When I'm on the road, it could be, you know, just the same day. So if you're down for that, pick a spot. And if, if, if it's not uh, something that uh, you can figure out or doesn't work for you, send me a message on Facebook uh, with some info. I'll uh, put a link to that map uh, in the description below, the YouTube description. So enjoy this moment here with me in Basque country, in my t-shirt and shorts. The contrast from a few days ago, right? When I departed into Belgium in the rain. Not that you saw most of that day since I deleted the first episode, but all good. And we're back to Spanish. That rolls off my tongue again. Not the French. Oh God. But they speak a different kind of sp oh, Basque country. They, they speak their own language, but just Spanish is also a different kind of Spanish. It's the OG Spanish though, but more huh, and less Portu Portuguese fied like uh, the Argentinian Spanish. So while we're in the sound of music, Spain and probably walking in shit that's been recently uh, agricultured here you know that spring poo um still sound of music spain look at that um i bid you goodbye and i'll see you in the next episode and you see those little roads that's actually what we wanted to be doing right look at that look at them they know what's up hasta luego gente and i'll see you in the next one take care out there ciao